Welcome back to another Papageo tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to get our mouth shape exported out of Papageo and use it in an external program. Uh, we're going to be putting it into Pencil 2D, just very simply, just exporting the raw images. So I'll show you how to do that. But first of all, I want to point out, this is the original version of Papageo. This is, uh, or the latest version. It's the 2.0 beta version. And the only options that it has to export is just like we saw in the last video, this .dat file which is fine and we're going to play with that in the future a little bit but there is another option and I'll include the link in the description of this video there's this Papageo NG it's a it's a version of the software that's maintained by this Marevna project they also maintain a version of OpenTunes and some other software so they contribute to these open source programs um, and you can download that here so I'll include a link but what it does it gives you some extra functionality so this is the version of that here um, they look very similar uh, but this new version is going to have some different functionality. Oh, and I brought it up there to show you when you first open it, it looks weird. You just need to resize the window. Um, this is still also like a beta version for sure. Um, but what it's going to give us is some different options here. So I'm going to record in uh, some audio and we'll just do a little test here. Hello, everybody. My name is TJ. So we'll just export this real quick. Uh, this is just using Audacity. And I'll export this and call it hello.wave on the desktop. It has to be a .wave file. This is similar to what we did last time. And then we could bring it into either one of these, but I want to show you the, the new features that we have if we bring this in to this Papageo NG by the Marevna project. Um, the options we have here for export, for example, is we can export uh, the images. And over here, we couldn't do that uh, with this other version. So if you're wondering why you can't export images, it's because you're using the wrong version. So if we type in the text here, we go to export, we can only export in this um, anime studio or it's just a .dat file. Um, it's the same thing as this moho over here. So there's different options. Also the mouse are different. So over here we only have uh, four different, in this current version we have four different versions for mouse shapes. And here we have some other ones too. We have some different characters we can animate um, using as well and then we have the original four and also we can create our own we're going to learn to do that um, really soon here to create our own mouse shapes so I'm going to minimize this the version that we that we did last time and I'm going to use this one because it's the one that we need in order to export our uh, mouse shapes and we're going to use this Preston Blair um, complete character and so now I just need to listen to this and type in uh, what is said here hello everybody my name is TJ so we'll just type in this. I'm not sure if, you, if that volume came through. Hello, everybody. Oh, and actually, I found out I need to put a space between every and buddy in this one. My name is TJ. Now, it's I might put a space between T and J as well to see. Then we click breakdown, and it noticed everything. But sometimes if, we, if I were to put everybody together right here, uh, it would catch that. It would not know what that word is. It pops up with this, and it says, break down this word for me everybody is not in the dictionary i guess according to it and so it tells us what is the breakdown so it'd be like uh probably uh, uh maybe and then v maybe this is, is that w or v? oh fv so ev and then we find r so the r sound um or what is that shape going to be that's more like this etc i think and then b and then ah body so we can basically we can break down this word and tell it what these are what these sounds are going to be. But I can just do it has every and body already, so we'll just see how it does that. Um, so it did it. Um, well, we can see. We'll resize this Hello, here everybody. real quick. Hello, everybody. My name is TJ. Okay, that's not too bad. We can TJ. get that to get to look exactly the way we want it to. My name is TJ. Okay, so now I'm just going to export this just because I don't want this video to get too long. So we're going to change it. Well, first I'll do a dat file just so you can see. So on the desktop, we'll just call this hello.dat and we'll save that dat file. And that just looks uh, like this. So it just says the number of frames and what mouth shape it's doing. And I'll show you what these mouth shapes look like over here. You can find them. I'll show you how to get to them. Once this is installed, you go into your program files. Then you scroll down to this Papageo NG. Then there's another folder called Papageo NG. And then there's this RSRC. And then there's this mouth. So it's kind of a long directory to get there. But that's where you'll find all these pictures. The one we're using is this right here. So it shows the different pictures that we would use 
uh, in in here. So for the E sound, the face looks like this. We can even look at this larger if we want to. So this is the E sound. This is the ETC, so that this is going to be S or E. Uh, this is going to be the F or V sound. So it shows what these different ones look like. And so if you wanted to draw your own, all you need to do is come in here and edit the, these files or create your own directory in here, call it number 8, and then make sure you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 files, and then they all be the same size, and then you just need to be named the same thing. So MBP is going to be the, that sound, M, B, and P. It doesn't matter what language you're in either. These The files are just named the same, and the mouse shapes are the same. Uh, anyway, I'll move this out of the way, and let's go ahead. We'll close this, and I'm going to export these pictures right now. So I'll just go to a drop down and go to images and then we'll export the images and so we just first of all we choose which image set we want to use which mouse shape we can choose our own custom one if we want or if we don't choose one it'll just do whichever one we choose from this drop down then I click export and choose where to export them so I'll just put these on a desktop for now and we'll call them they'll be called hello and then it'll put a number after each of them so now we can see all these pictures are here on my desktop and they're just numbered and then what we need to do is just bring them into a uh, pencil. So I have pencil right here. If you don't have this program, you could bring them into Krita or even a video editor or anything. But um, Pencil 2D has this, you can import an image sequence. So I'll go to import image sequence and I'll go to browse. And I'll just find all of these and I'll import them. Uh, oh, I need to import all of them. So we go to this one. I'll hold down the control key and select the first one. Hold down the shift key, select the last one and go to open and then it'll import them, import an image every what number of frame, I'll do every one frame and go OK. So that imports all these images now into Pencil 2D. Pretty cool, huh? And then what we want to do is make sure our frames per second over here matches what we had um, over here in Papageo, which we had frames per second set to 24. So we also want to make sure that's set to 24 here. We could have it set to 30 in both, or 12, or 60. We just want to make sure we're using the same frames per second so that it'll match with our audio. Then we just go File, Import, uh, Sound, and we just go create a new sound layer, sure, and then we find that fi uh, file that says the hello. And one thing you'll notice is that the, uh, the pictures actually that we, where can I find those? If I go to desktop over here, this, the pictures actually start at frame 12 and they end at frame 63 so it doesn't imp it only imports the pictures um, it'll it'll do duplicates of these pictures but it it won't start until the actual thing until the actual picture starts so what I probably want to do is is click down here hold down the shift key and click here and then I move these to frame 12 which is right here I think that's 13, this is 12. So I want these to, to, to start on frame 12. Again, holding down shift, selecting all the frames, then left clicking and moving. And again, this is specific to Pencil 2D. If you're using another program, it'll be a little different. Um, but there we go. And now when we play this, it should match up with the audio. Hello everybody, my name is TJ. So there we go. And then if we want, notice over here, it doesn't, the picture's not showing. So we could just uh, copy this frame. Uh, how do we do that? Right click, and copy or edit, uh, copy, and I think we can paste this in here on frame one. Oh, I had a crash happen. But you see, um, I hopefully you've seen the point there. Uh, so yeah, that's a way that you can export that using this um, different edition of Papageo. So check out the link for that. Um, exporting these images can be really useful because you can also export just the mouth image. Then you can overlay just the, the you can make a video of that mouth and just put that video or those images just over top of your character if you wanted to. Hopefully that's uh, been informative for you. Go ahead and leave your comments uh, and questions below if you have any, and I look forward to catching you in the next video.